Hey guys, I'm Dwayne Soap here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I have an overall update for you guys on iOS 14.5. In this video, we're going to be talking about expected release dates for the next beta, beta 3. I also want to talk about and answer a question that you guys have been asking. When to expect the official release for iOS 14.5 to everyone worldwide. In this video, we're going to go over some of the battery details and performance on three particular models that have been impacted, such as the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, iPhone 7, 7 Plus, and iPhone S e first generation i want to share some information in regards to battery for those devices and some of the bugs that you guys have encountered so far as well on the latest software so the first thing we're going to talk about is the bugs now when i'm in safari this doesn't happen often but every now and then there's a glitch where, where if you look at a photo or a video the screen will just completely go blank it will look dark and nothing's happening you have to tap the display to sort of wake it up again for some reason this has happened to me it looks really weird i'm not quite sure I can say exactly where that's coming from, but if you've encountered this issue where your screen just goes completely blank, let me know in the comments down below. It's happened to me with social media applications like Twitter, Instagram, and in Safari when I'm looking at images or watching videos. Now there's also an issue with some iPhones where if you place it down on a charging mat to charge, and this is third-party chargers, wireless charging stops. And then for some reason this has happened several times. I'm not quite sure if it has to do with aligning the coils properly, but it looks like third-party wireless charging accessories are having issues with iPhones, specifically the iPhone 12 that I'm using here. I've encountered this issue several times now where I place it on a third-party wireless charger and I come back and has stopped for some reason. If you've encountered this issue, let me know in those comments down below as well. Now, unfortunately with Bluetooth, there's been issues on the latest beta as well for iOS 14.5. Now, Apple did fix the issue with iOS 14.3 and 14.4 that we had with connectivity performance on Bluetooth, but unfortunately, I've encountered issues with Bluetooth once again, unfortunately, on 14.5, the latest beta 2 with AirPods Max and AirPods Pro, just not consistently staying connected to the device. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is battery performance. Now, in terms of battery, in regards to iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, I do have to say that Apple has improved the performance of the battery on these older devices here. Again, 6S and 6S Plus, things are looking good and not as good as it was before with iOS 14.2, I would like to say, but it's in the right track and I think Apple will iron out and fix those issues completely on these devices. Now, the models iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, same situation here, same as iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, performance is okay. It's not as good as it was before, but again, I think Apple will continue to improve that issue. Now there's an issue with the iPhone SE first generation. I don't see things getting any better for this device. You guys have asked me to try different devices, different models, and it looks like the iPhone SE first generation just continues to struggle with the battery on iOS 14.5. So simple things like downloading applications and watching videos just drains the battery crazy, crazy quick, almost unusable on the first generation iPhone SE, unfortunately. Now keep in mind, this device will most likely be dropping from the list when Apple releases the next major update, iOS 15. Uh, but still, this is most likely gonna be one of the final updates for this device and the battery just continues to be an issue and I don't see any performance improvements on the latest beta for iOS 14.5 on iPhone SE. So the overall consensus here, iPhone SE first generation still struggling, terrible battery life, iPhone 7, 7 Plus improvements are here, and 6S, 6S Plus as well. So now let's talk about expected release dates. If history is any indication, Apple continues on a two weeks release cycle. I was hoping for Apple to switch to a weekly release cycle. The last beta was on the 16th. Right now, it's been about a week. It is Thursday the 25th, still no beta. So unless Apple does something completely out of the ordinary, the next beta will most likely arrive on March the 2nd. Tuesday, March the 2nd, that will mark two weeks from beta two. So beta three expected on March 2nd of next week. Again, if Apple doesn't do something out of the ordinary, that's when we can expect iOS 14.5 developer beta 3. Now, in terms of official release for iOS 14.5, if history, again, is any indication, we'll see maybe four betas and a release candidate and expect the official release towards the week of the 22nd of March. So mid to late March is when we can see iOS 14.5 being released to everyone worldwide 
side and maybe some additional changes may be coming because there's some new products rumored to be launching here shortly. So that is everything that I wanted to share with you guys in regards to bugs, battery, performance, expected release date for betas, and official software release. Thank you for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.